Hello, children. You all are welcome. Here, I will give you some letters. Using them, let's build a word. Can you? Can you build a word using them? Yeah, we can. Yes. There are six letters. Yeah, very good. Yes. We can build the word goblet. Do you know what a goblet is? Yes. A goblet is a vessel, a drinking vessel. It is made of glass, metal or clay. It has a stem and a base. Yeah, we can have goblets in different shapes. Sometimes we can have them in different colors. And we use goblets in our day-to-day -day life. So, now today we are going to talk about the earthen goblet by Harindranath Chattopadhyaya. What is earthen? Yes, what is earthen? Yes, earthen means the earth made of clay or made of soil. So the poem, The Earthen Goblet, written by Harindranath Chattopadhyaya, is a very powerful poem. And if we talk about the writer, the writer is an Indian English poet. He was born in Hyderabad in India in 1898. He's the younger brother of the famous writer Sarojini Naidu. He's a dramatist a musician, an actor, a politician, and a freedom fighter. So, he wrote this poem, taking the earthen goblet as the protagonist. The goblet is the protagonist of the poem. He personifies the goblet here. And the poet respects the goblet as an individual. Here we have a goblet. Earlier it was a lump of clay. Now it has a new shape and the writer has given an identity. And at the same time, the poet gives due recognition to this goblet. If we take the first stanza, you can see a silent goblet from red from head to heel. How did you feel? When you were being twirled upon the potter's wheel before the potter gave you to the world. Here we have a question. How did you feel? The writer talks to the goblet and he asks a very powerful question. And from there, the writer starts a dramatization. So he, from here, we can get the story of the goblet. So can you tell me 
how did the goblet feel you can drop me a message or you can give me an answer for that yes how did the goblet feel is he happy is he frustrated is he sad yes yes now according to your thinking how did the goblet feel Yeah. Yes, is he happy? No, he is not happy. He is not happy. Yes, he is sad. Why? Because yes, he is in the potter's wheel being twirled. What do you mean by twirled? Spin very quickly, very mm -hmm. fast. so normally when we move when we are moving we feel dizzy sometimes giddy and poet asks the feeling of the goblet that is why he asks how did you feel here we here yes this is the first stanza and the dramatizes oh silent goblet how did you feel so the poet speaks to the goblet it becomes red why because it is burnt in the kiln and this process is followed in pottery what is the potter's job what is the potter's job yes the potter is making a goblet out of clay and the final product is the goblet we can compare the same thing as a mother giving birth to a child pain is there but at the end mother is happy but here the goblet is not happy why because now it is lifeless it can't give birth and here in the second stanza comes with our curiosity so why is he so why is he sad and the suspense is created we want to know the answer from the goblet now the goblet answers i felt a conscious impulse in my clay to break away what is a conscious impulse a sudden strong need now where is the goblet now the goblet is in the custody of the potter's hand so he wants to break away but it can't go away so they are the goblet has a great desire for what for freedom it can't live freely the potter has here much power why power is the potter can turn the clay into any shape so how does the writer uh, bring us uh, how does the writer bring us the power how the great potter's hand that burns so warm here goblet is sad the goblet wants to go away here the goblet develops a frustrated mentality and the goblet charges the potter why for replacing his 
natural identity his natural identity as clay by an artificial form what is the artificial form yes what is the artificial form you can drop me a message what is the artificial form the natural form is clay then what is the artificial form yes what is the artificial form i'm making goblet yes the goblet is the very good the goblet is the artificial form and it is the present form so now i am asking you a question here now you must drop me messages or shall we share the whiteboard you can uh, answer me share in the whiteboard the mentality of the goblet now what is the mentality of the goblet yes you can yes you can drop me messages or you can share the whiteboard yes is mentality of the goblet the see like the present form the see like the present form no he no very good yes he does not like the present form so they are what is his feelings if he does not like the present form what is his feeling is he happy is he sad yes yeah saro very good saro sad very good pute yeah any other answer good lonely loneliness you very good loneliness is there yeah any other feeling sir sad negative and pessimistic yes negative feelings are there good negative 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 feelings yeah and the goblet is helpless here helpless helpless yes any other answer and because of the loneliness because it is helpless no it suffers a lot it suffers because it cannot take the past form present form is different from the past form if we if we take a life of a rural man he doesn't like to change so that that is how goblet feels natural form is changed so it does not like the present form so that is why he is frustrated helpless sad negative no comfort in his life so those are the feelings that he has okay now let's move into third stanza 
before that, yes. Yeah, here the goblet in the second stanza before going to the third, we can see the how goblet confesses. Yeah, he needs freedom, painful, helpless, as you said, negative, no life. Okay. So with those feelings, we can move into the third stanza. Yes. Before that fatal hour that saw me captive on the potter's wheel and cast into his crimson goblet sleep, I used to feel the fragrant friendship of a little flower whose root was in my bosom buried deep. Here, what has happened? That saw me captive. Now, we have the period, the lump of clay spins in the potter's workshop. Potter's workshop, he spends his period and there the lump of clay becomes a captive. Captive, a prisoner, and it becomes a victim of a magician. And after that, it becomes a goblet in the kiln. Lump of clay becomes a goblet in the kiln and cast into his crimson, bright red color. So, here in the third stanza, we can see how he has become a captive, victim of a magician, and how it becomes a goblet in the killer. Here the goblet laments. Why? Because it lost the friendship of a little flower. Now the goblet can't give life. He remembers the friendship with the little flower and it has no fertility. So if we talk about the friendship between the clay and the flower, we can see the physical and emotional value between them. In the past life, it enjoyed the life as a live member. Where? In the nature family. The earth gives life to the flower. Now, what is the feeling of the goblet? As he can't give life. Yes, what is the feeling? He feels sad about his present situation as it lost its fertility. So in the fourth stanza, we see how the goblet accuses the potter as it has given a new form. Yes, his living breath is taken. It is lifeless. My past unshapely natural state was best. There it likes its past unshapely natural stage. That means the shape and the stage as the lump of clay. The lump of clay represents its feelings. So again and again, the lump of clay regrets, the goblet regrets. Why? Because it lost 
the goblet replay, uh, re, re, regrets why because it lost its fertility so when we talk about the themes yes here we can see man's intervention in nature so what did the man do here what did the man do here yes what did he do you can drop me a message what did the man do here what did the man do here yes 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 man changed yes soft flexible clay becomes yes a rigid goblet we can't change so how did the man do that yes the man has changed the man has destroyed the natural form for his own personal benefits normally people change the nature for their own benefits if they don't change the nature the nature will be very beautiful and if the man destroys it the nature is not happy and here the goblet says us its friendly nature and how man has changed that if we take the natural beauty and man made beauty yes the lump of clay what does it represent what does it represent the lump of clay yes pute you can drop me a message what does the lump of clay represent natural beauty or man made beauty yes what does the natural what, what sorry what does the lump of clay represent is it natural beauty or it is artificial or man made beauty what's it lump of clay you can answer me drop me a message yes lump of clay uh, yes the lump of clay represents very good natural beauty yes natural beauty so then what does the goblet represent what does the goblet represent man made beauty yes good man made beauty natural beauty is admired by people we all love natural beauty but there are some people who admire the man made beauty because after the industrialization people change they used the new technology they destroyed their natural environment so then some people likes the man made beauty so that is why they used to they used to use the new technology and make new thing new inventions are there now we know when a flower blooms on the earth it is very beautiful we have 10 minutes so you can join the lesson again after this from the same link yes when a flower blooms on the earth it is very beautiful but 
when we take an artificial flower we can't see that natural beauty from that and if we take girls women normally we know they apply cosmetics what happens there the natural skin color changes their curly hair becomes straight hair natural eyebrows become pencil eyebrows so they like to destroy their natural beauty by artificial beauty so some people admire their natural beauty while some admire the artificial beauty as we know natural beauty is full of love it is full of life energetic where we don't get any life from artificial beauty it is dull so here the writer wants to bring that message to us natural beauty is admired and here that goblet the artificial form laments because it lost its natural beauty now if we take traditional life versus modern life every human is a lump of clay now if we take the society the society is the potter the great potter and the potter's wheel is our education system now we have lump of clay goblet and the potter's wheel lump of clay represent it is represented by humans society is the great potter and potter's wheel represents the educational system as we know what does the educational system do what does it do yes it changes our mind our behavior patterns so it changes the human likewise the potter's wheel changes the lump of clay and makes a goblet now the human or the children especially the children they get their education and what is the final product so an educated person so when we think of their lifestyle we know that they don't have leisure time they can't enjoy their free life they must learn and there we see sometimes the final product is with no moral values so some uh, innocent children they have moral values but when they grow up they will lose their moral values even here when we take the clay ball it was able to develop love friendship cooperation and everything but the goblet cannot do that goblet is not able to develop those qualities so we must think these things so when we talk about the poetic techniques now can you answer me there are some poetic techniques 
can you tell me examples what are the other poetic techniques that you can have yes you can drop me a message or you can give me answers yes rhyming scheme yes tell me pute yes rhyming scheme rhyming rhyming scheme heel feel yes Play, very rhyming. good heel feel feel good any other any other yes we have in each stanza as you said good heel feel clay away feel yes clay away away good yeah so we have in the first stanza heel feel wheel and twirled world as you said very good achinta yeah personification we will talk about the rhyming scheme first play away any other pute yes any other pattern yes in the second stanza Yes, good warm form. Warm form, good. Yes. Third stanza. And if you like, from the fourth stanza. Best raised. Yes. Best. and raised yeah vast and cast vast and cast good yes any other yes in each stanza we have rhyming words wheel feel sleep deep personification what are the examples personification 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 at the very beginning the writer personifies the yes what did he yeah the goblet is personified the goblet is personified the writer gives some human attribute how did you feel you yeah feel. very good how did you feel that means humans feel sorrow and they are happy sometimes they are frustrated so now the goblet feels as a human feel yes any other any other example yes i felt i felt a conscious of the impact yes yeah here the word captive because of the sudden a feeling 